bonjour. <sighs> uh, just finished doing this. Just like uh, a few minutes ago. Um, a couple of months ago, a subscriber of mine, a Mr. Sinan Kargi, don't know whether I've just mispronounced that, he's Turkish, I'm not, sorry if I've butchered your name, dude, uh, suggested that I make a uh, Nixie clock. So I went away and made a Nixie clock. It's taken me a while because I had to wait for some bits. And the project, uh, as my projects tend to do, they tend to evolve <laughs> a little bit as they, uh, as they progress. So uh, it took me a little while. And this is the end result. Surprise, surprise, it's made of Bakelite. Um, I, I wanted to do something a bit different to the uh, average kind of uh, Nixie clocks that you see. I've seen several of them, and I, uh, at one point, a couple of years back, did intend to buy one, but I never actually got round to it. So when uh, it was suggested that I make one, I thought that was a damn fine idea. So I did. Um... Yeah, so this is this is different to the average Nixie clock in three main ways, I would say. Firstly, the material. It's made of Bakelite, uh, probably because Bakelite is horribly toxic when you uh, machine it, when you file it and drill it. The, the powder it makes is, uh, it's got asbestos in it and things like that, so it's, uh, it's quite bad for you. So most people have probably got more sense than to try it with Bakelite. Um... Uh, the second uh, thing that makes it different is the way I've done the display, I would say. Normally, when people make Nixie clocks, they either, they either just get the timepiece and stick it in a clear uh, acrylic box or something so you can see all the circuits and stuff. But usually what people do is they machine little holes in the box, usually wooden or sheet alloy boxes they're made out of, and they just have the tubes poking out through the through the actual material but because these the box is sort of disproportionately large when compared to the actual timepiece there is a reason for that I'll get to that in a bit but uh, because the box is so large it's not very big really but uh, big compared to the actual timepiece it would look strange so I went with a uh, I cut a hole uh, I've actually uh, I did it it's all freehand again I did it quite neatly well very neatly it took me ages and I've uh, put matte black paint on the inside of the hole as well, so it looks very neat. And I uh, put some lightly tinted perspex in there. Uh, and what that's achieved is uh, not only uh, it doesn't have the vulnerability of glass tubes poking out anymore, but also it sort of artificially increases the area of the display so it doesn't look so small. Because I wanted this to be a feasible travel clock for all the uh, travelling I don't do. Um, yeah, so that's that's the second way it's, it differs. The third way it differs from the average Nixie clock is this. Mm. What witchcraft is this? Some of you probably guessed this from it being so large. But yeah, it uh, doesn't require mains power all the time. <laughs> so I can take it away, look. Still going, still going, and here we are in the kitchen and it's still going. <sighs> uh, you can see it better in here anyway, you can see the, quite shiny. This used to be my battery box, if you remember, it was on here during my, uh, in that very spot, during my, my entire Bakelite collection video. So it used to be my battery box, that's now my battery box. And this is uh, this has obviously been promoted to a clock, but yeah, uh, fairly understated design. Well, I didn't design it obviously; I just put it in a box. But the box suits my purposes quite well, considering I just wanted it to be a travel clock. Uh, no screws or anything. I made extensive use of glue in its construction, so there's no screws or anything. Just a power switch on the back. And a uh, an input for the uh, charger. It can be run. It can be run uh, directly from the charger itself. You can actually switch the batteries off. I'll open it actually and show you. That's a good idea, isn't it? 
Just give me a second, it's quite difficult to do with one hand. Mm, there we go. And there's the inside. Two uh, 1,800 milliamp lithium polymer rechargeables. There's the actual timepiece with the tubes. There's a big mess of wiring in the back. Uh, my, my projects always look messy on the inside. They're solid and functional, but they always look messy. I mean, if you think that N64 looks neat and tidy on the inside, it really doesn't. It looks like an explosion in a wire factory. But as long as they work, that's the main thing. So yeah, two big rechargeables. Um, can't really see the wiring. Probably just as well. Uh, and you may also notice this. I'll get to that in a second actually. Um, I haven't actually, because I've only just finished this, I haven't actually run it flat yet. But I'm estimating uh, that it'll run for approximately 8 to 10 hours if you just switch it on and leave it running. Because uh, Nixie clocks, the reason why I've not seen anyone use batteries before for a Nixie clock is probably because Nixie clocks use a huge amount of power compared to other types of clocks. LCD, LED or analog. They're all very green compared to Nixie because it's obviously such an old technology. Uh, it just uses lots of power. So uh, the battery life isn't going to be spectacular. But that battery there, that's a lithium CR123A or more commonly known as a camera battery. Although I'm not entirely sure that any camera still uses those type of batteries. That, that powers the actual uh, time circuits. So you can switch off the main power and... Uh, switch it back on again and it's, the time's still there so that, uh, that that enables it to be used as a travel clock really you could take this somewhere where there's no AC you could take it camping and it, provided you just switch it on check the time switch it off again uh, the batteries will last for months so it is it is a feasible travel clock you can see the tubes in there when the it's only a very lightly tinted screen because I do like the look of the tubes but yeah, there we go. That's my little uh, travel clock. So, good suggestion, dude.